In this video, I'm going to walk you through what I think is the best route to travel Vietnam by a motorbike. Ho Chi Minh all the way up to Hanoi in the north. When I go riding for business and mapping, I tend to write all of the options available in a given section of the country. This allows me to gauge side by side which is truly the best route. Vietnam is always changing, but my content mostly stays up with it. So I recommend following what I have to say over the bloggers who only experienced Vietnam once. So let's get started. First of all, this is the best way to leave Ho Chi Minh City. The only option that you could do to go around this is this is going up a river, it's kind of out of your way. You could do a more direct route uh, straight up this way. Uh, just whacking Google Maps, Katia National Park, and off you go. But this is sort of the scenic, quiet route. I don't recommend the coast between Vong Tau and Mui Ne. This is not where the interesting coastal riding is. It all starts after Mui Ne. And also, the road down to Vong Tau is incredibly busy, so it's not a good way out of the city. That is why your beginning of the journey should be direct to Katian, which is out here. When you rent a bike from us, we have a paper map that explains. It then turns into a beautiful mountain road through Bao Lok and up to Dalat. That is most people's day two. Katian day one to Dalat day two. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the Mekong Delta. The Mekong Delta is not somewhere you want to drive on a motorbike. It's very hot, flat and busy. And really there's nothing you can see on a motorbike that you can't see on an organized bus tour or for example flights to Fukuoka Island. Yes, there are motorbike tours for the Mekong Delta where tour guides have very carefully selected routes through all the hectic traffic. But honestly, it's not something you can navigate or do by yourself. Forget about the Mekong. There's better stuff to do on a motorbike. All right, let's continue. So we land ourselves in the wonderful mountain city of Dalat. So we have some choices to be made right now. The good coast starts here. So if we want to do all of the good coast, we come down the yellow route and up the coast this way. This would also allow you to stop in Wiene, which is a great tourist town if you should choose to do so. If you want to save yourself some time or cut bad days shorter, you can do the orange line. The best coast in the entire country is this orange line. So this is the bit that you need to be doing. You don't need to do the yellow. So this mountain road between Dalat and the Trang is also a favorite among travelers. It's a great little ride, but there's plenty of mountain roads in Vietnam. There's actually not that many coastal roads. So in my opinion, at this point, you should do the coast, save the mountains for later. All right, so now we have another decision to be made. The best route between Nha Trang and Da Nang, which I'll put in the link above, is the blue one. But it is actually very remote with very few hotels and little help if things go wrong, such as flat tires. It also takes a little bit longer and it's difficult to plan out your night stop. The alternative is to go up the coast, which is a highway at this point. It will be busy. But Queen Yong and many, many resorts around this area are great places to stay overnight. So most people would stop in Queen Yong and then continue up to Hoi An on the next day. But you'll find resorts all the way up this purple line. You could also stop in Queen Yong and head inland up here if you want to do so. But the best route is this one, and it's a great route. All right, so now we're in the famous tourist town of Hoi An or Da Nang. I recommend driving around the peninsula. Not enough people actually do that. But we have a few choices to be made again. Now we have the Hai Van Pass, which is the most famous motorbiking road in Vietnam. But it's very overrated. However, if you go to Vietnam, in many ways, you do need to tick the box of having ridden this road. Because when people talk to you, they'll say, oh, have you done the Hoi Van Pass? And you need to be able to say, yes, I have. But it's overrated. The better road is this one. Come inland onto the Ho Chi Minh Road. Some fantastic tunnels and driving out here. What an awesome ride. So, you have a choice. You can turn this into what Vietnam Coracle would call the Golden Loop. Or you can tick the box of the Hai Van Pass 
or you can just go straight to the best road. There is actually also now a high van pass loop, which is not added in this map, it should be for this video, which would turn this into a day ride back to Hoi An, then you do the awesome road. Anyway, from there it's pretty straightforward. We land in Khe San and we follow the Ho Chi Minh Road all the way up to Phong Nha, somewhere out here. Where are you, Phong Nha? I think you're here, there you are. Right, eh? so Phong Nha with all the caves, you do need to spend a few days here doing the caves, some great stuff out there these days. And you do not want to bail out onto the coast really at this point. Uh, if you're gonna ride Vietnam, then this is the road to ride. No questions asked. Okay, so we're in Phong Nha, we're enjoying the caves. Now we have a bit of a grind to get to Hanoi. There isn't a right or wrong way of doing this and there isn't a particularly interesting way of doing this. But I have found having extensively tested and exhausted myself that this purple one is the best route. And I can tell you it's not a huge amount of fun having driven this purple route and the inland route side by side. Neither of them are great, but the purple one at least is fast, open pace, let's say farm style countryside driving. It's busy, but it's still farmland busy, whereas I would almost argue the inside is just straight out highway. Now, there is some great places out here uh, called Pu Long and Mai Chao up here. Sorry, Mai Chao there, Pu Long is here. Great places to stay. Ninh Binh, of course, is the famous tourist destination. But if you want to go there, you land yourself on a highway drive into Ninh Binh and a highway drive into Hanoi. Not a pleasant one either. Versus Mai Chao and uh, Pu Long, much more authentic homestay style tourist destinations with a much better ride. I think it's a fairly obvious choice which way you want to roll. Also, this road into Hanoi it's surprisingly pleasant. It's a nice big open road and not that busy. So this is a big game changer, this little section here, instead of trying to get up this way. Okay, so you've now done Ho Chi Minh to Hanoi. Congratulations. This takes really a minimum of 10 days if you're driving every day, all day. 15 days if you throw in some tourist rest days. Uh, most people will do 20 to 25 days. So the north. Most people will do Ha Yang, and this is basically a one week loop back to Hanoi, up here and back, seven days of driving. A lot of people will do a train, there is a train, overnight train going up here to Lao Cai, uh, and then you, you set off from here and go and do Ha Yang. But in my personal experience, organizing trains and so on is just logistics hassle. Why not just ride it? The north is great as it is. But if you sleep easy on public transport, then sure, maybe it's a good idea. I just drive. So if you have enough time to do more than just Haiyang, that's when you throw in the Northeast, which has Banyok Waterfall out here. And somewhere out here as well is Ba Bear Lake. I think it's here. So the Northeast is your kind of extra. Your Northwest coming out this way and not shown on this map, because it's mostly off-roading, and travelers need to do their own personal extensive research to figure out this area of Vietnam. If I map it out for you and you run yourself into some nasty, nasty terrain, I'm the one who gets blamed. You need to be an experienced motorcyclist to head off into the Northwest. Send me an email if you want routes for this section. Awesome. I hope this video was useful. Please like and subscribe so that I can continue doing business by riding around Vietnam on my motorbike. Please feel free to ask me any questions that remain unclear and thanks for watching.